Squish, are you sure this is not enough arrows, man? I mean, we have almost 200 already. We have a ton of windstone already. This stuff takes forever to mine. Hey, it's, well, it's easy for you to say. You're not doing nothing. You're just sitting there being all cozy on top of my head and giving orders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Well, I think this, I think I'm going to call it right here, man. We have like, how much is that? 98. Okay, two more. But that's it, okay? That'll be another hundred added to what we already have in case we have to make some more arrows on the fly. And we've been having a serious problem. Hey, guys, by the way, welcome back to another episode of Pixar. If I could... Man, I can never line this up. <laughs> welcome back to another episode of Pixar, guys. I hope y'all are doing well today. Squish and I, he's, he's been impatient with me all morning, man. We're trying to... Oh, oh that's a Gorgol. I know. I know we need uh, we need magic arrows to tame those guys, but that is not what we're after taming today. Oh. Well, you were you were upset because we had lost so many berries and we had to farm them again, oh. as well as the meat that Sandy needed, a bunch of rotten meat and stuff. It it gets to the point to where without a refrigerator we're stuck, and the ice boxes that we can make have a slot limit, just like any other container. So what I remember is being able to feed. The ice elementals, ice, and they would keep stuff cool for us. And they have a weight limit instead. So all we need is a decent level ice elemental in order to keep everything cool. And I think all we need is uh, just to get some extra arrows here. I want to say that we have almost everything we need. Maybe Mage Weave Bark is the only thing uh, that we're going to need here. I don't remember where I put it. Yes, I know. We need more storage. Okay, we have 31 more Mage Weave Bark Squishy. That's all. Uh, we're going to need some regular stone arrows now. Uh, what do we need for stone arrows still? Just flint and wood. We should have plenty of that stuff too. I have been, I have been picking up quite a bit of stuff. Let's see. I'll bring that. And where's the rest? Where's the rest? Actually, flint. Yeah. Okay, so that should do it right there, Squishy. Let's make... The rest of our arrows and we'll craft all of these up and we're just we're gonna grab some mage weave bark on the way out it should be easy we just hatch it up some trees and then we're gonna make our way to the coal biome where we already have some clothes prepared it's gonna be a fantastic adventure squishy wow. all right buddy we're back in your favorite place and look at that wow. yeah that's the tape jars That'd be a heck of an upgrade from the little Pteranodon, but the Pteranodon does is good. So we're looking for an ice elemental or an ice golem. I forget what they're called. That's one of them right there. Let's check out the level on it. 52. That's not a bad level for a refrigerator. I'll take a level 52 refrigerator. 8,500 torp. How much torpor do you think one arrow does? Hmm. If I remember correctly, it's around 100, but it's been a long time. So if that's the case, we could definitely get that one. And I mean, honestly, being that it's a refrigerator, I think that's going to be plenty, to tell you the truth, buddy. I don't know about you. So we need to make a little hole, I think. We need, we need to make a little hole for it. A little trap, if you will. So, uh-oh, those, those are bad little uh, plants over there. We have to be careful. We're going to have to make the hole a little bit closer to here, I believe. Uh, how big do you think this thing needs to be, Squish? Oh. Well, Squishy, there's the hole, buddy. Like it or not. It's like a six by six by six. It should be fine, right? Wow. Okay. Let's lure this guy in if we can. We'll just get his attention with a little peck on the head. Da, 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 Come da, da. on over. Look, he's skating. <laughs> I forgot they skate like that. All right. Let's do it. Right in the hole, buddy. What? <laughs> I was about to say, he teased the Squishy. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> yeah, he can't get us from there. Okay, safest thing to do with things like that bear around. We do have Sandy, but I don't think we're gonna rely on that. I think we want to trap this guy in, or girl. I don't, I don't really know what you call him to tell you the truth, Squishy. We're gonna trap him in, and we're gonna get down in a place that we can hit him where he can't hit us, and that's how we gonna do it. A nice little hide hole, Squishy. Okay, so let's uh, let's get the Pteranodon taken down here. It's been a few minutes. Uh, Pick's blocking might take a little while because we just hit it earlier. No, maybe it it's whether or not they have been hit or not that that says they're in battle. Okay, I'm encumbered now, so I gotta kind of be careful here. Tell you what, let's dig a little spot right here and we need to get close enough to where we can see its torp and i think oh that's not good <laughs> all right now we should just be able to go straight up to it and we can see its torp okay 8500 that looks good to me okay let's let's just seal this back up just in case I think we have enough light and everything, and we'll just start shooting it, okay? Uh, 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 now, let's see how much Torp it did. Less than 100, actually. Uh, so that's going to be about 100 arrows for 8,500 Torp, or give or take. You know, 110 if we make every shot. That's okay with me, buddy. Oh, he's getting a little close here, Squishy. He's getting a little close. We got to be careful, man. <laughs> There we go. Right in the gut. Or the booty, which depending on whichever way he's turning. Alright, Squishy, we got about a hundred arrows left, buddy. And it looks like he's starting to hurt a little bit. He's bleeding. Okay? We gotta be careful. Let's check let's check his torpor and his health, huh? Uh that doesn't seem like a good idea without having an escape route okay okay let's try this again he's got okay his health is oh no he's bleeding but his health is fine he's only got four more shots maybe two more shots ah there he is Oof. oh and we didn't cover up this whole thing too we gotta we can't we can't do that we can't do that let's cover up this whole thing and there's these ice elementals around here buddy they mean business Whew. well look at look he's in some chains now <laughs> that's how they work it okay uh let's see now if i remember correctly this guy needs ice so i brought a bunch of it okay i even brought some of this stuff uh first of all does he eat snow he does not okay does he eat the ice crystals? He does. He does. So, these are the special kind of ice. I think you can make different stuff from it. Oh, that might be like his prime meat, huh? Because this stuff is a lot harder to get. They're they're like the dark blue ones that you could find anywhere. I'll I'll show you when we get out this hole. But this should help a, a lot with the taming speed. I'm thinking. Um, but we have 200 ice. I mean, I don't think that we'll be getting... I, don't, I, I think he'll have plenty of food, I'm wow. sure. His taming goes up quite a bit from just one of those those crystal pieces of ice or whatever. So, it'll be a little while, though. We're going to be here for a minute. We brought some food and things, and with our fur armor, we should be comfy. I, I did uh, change out my sprint shoes. Uh, I, I, I guess I can keep my spring shoes on, and uh, we'll give you a little cushion for your head, wow. but... Yeah, he's just eating ice cubes now, buddy, and compared to how much he actually ate and got for taming with those 10 other crystals, it's it's no comparison. I'd, I'd almost think of it like meat to berries for carnivore versus herbivore, because he eats them pretty quick, like he's about to eat an ice cube after 10 hunger, something like that, right? But he doesn't gain much taming from it at all, but at any rate, He's just about tame. I don't know if there's a saddle for anything like this. Ice elemental. Um, hmm. We could look in our Ingrams. Ice. Okay, there's the ice cellar. That's the one that we were talking bad about because it's limited to space here. 
Um, what about magic? Ice apprentice wand. Ooh, ice shield, ice arrows, ice spears. I don't think. I don't think there's any like that. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, we got ourselves an ice elemental. Oh, we could just ride him. We don't even have to worry. Okay. Uh, the thing is, too, I am very heavy right now. I don't know if there's anything that I could really... The, uh, the magic windstones are actually taking a big, big chunk out of what we need. Um, let's make those real quick. They don't expire or anything. I'll make as many as I can. Wow. And that'll use some of it. And in order to get out this hole... Oh, well, we actually... All right, we're good. Let's put the spring shoes on. And... In order to get out of this hole, we're probably going to need just a little, a little bit of like a stairway. Okay, let's check, make sure the coast is clear. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, there's a, uh, there's a bear right there, but hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You know, you know we got to go get that. Uh, I hope the Quetzals aren't deadly. There's an ancient lotus right there, too. Maybe this was a bad idea. What's in here? We'll take it. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Get this purple drop right here. I hope it's not too heavy. I hope it's not too heavy. <laughs> I know I'm getting sidetracked, buddy. Eyes on the prize, though. Okay. <gasps> a Mediterranean table blueprint and an iron seal. We don't need the iron sealing for Uh-oh. Okay. Um... Don't panic, Squishy. Don't panic. Let's just turn around and kill him. We could do it, buddy. We could do it. Don't panic. We could do it. Maybe we can't. Okay. I have an idea, buddy. I have an idea. Let's go down our stairway. Quick, 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 quick. Quick, quick, bud. Down the stairway. Ooh, okay, we we do we doing just fine, buddy. He's right, <laughs> he's right there though, buddy. Oh, you know we could have probably killed him, man, but I didn't want to take the chance. We didn't have Sandy in our hot bar. Oh no, that was a big risk. I probably shouldn't have took. All right, uh, okay, we need to get you picks blocked. All right, there we go. Uh, we should take the ice because we're gonna need it. Okay, and now in order to get out with our pteranodon, we're just gonna need a little bit more space, I think. A little bit more space. Let's let's take the pteranodon out. Okay. It looks like they fighting outside or something too, Squishy. Okay, Pteranodon saddle. Can we get out of here now? Yep, we sure can. Oh no, not quite. Not quite. We gotta clear out a little bit more space. Just a little bit. It's... Oh, this is crazy. And it's getting dark. It's gonna start getting cold soon. It's alright. All right, I have a feeling that's gonna be plenty. Are we out? Yes. Uh, 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 uh. Wow. Oh, they had they had two of those bears that killed that wolf. Well, the bears would have been a lot worse trouble to tell you the truth. <laughs> okay, let's get back home. <laughs> Sheesh. Home sweet home with no issues, Squishy. It's a little dark, but that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and try out our guy here. Just turn the gamma up for a little bit and see what what happens. We're gonna have to bring this guy inside and stuff, but let's take him out now. We don't need a saddle to ride him, so that's pretty cool. Wow. And there he is. Okay, ice elemental level fifty four. He doesn't have a gender. Okay, so I don't know whether we should call it by a he name or a she name or a neutral name, oh. but he's gonna eat ice <laughs> and. Weight is what we're gonna uh, ultimately want to add to this guy since we can store stuff. So, just as a general, um, I guess you could say test, spawns in six minutes and 50 seconds. Okay, let's put it on here 
spoils in five hours and 39 minutes. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. Spoils in six minutes and 45, spoils in five hours and 36. That's the way to do it, my friend. And the berries. Yeah, one hour and 25 minutes. Um, yeah, that's that's incredible. That's going to be really, really good. Actually, is that one day, 23 out? No, <laughs> that's one hour, 23 minutes and 20 seconds. Okay, good deal. Yeah, that's going to help out a bunch, huh, buddy? Okay, so as far as getting around... Look at him skate. <laughs> I know, buddy. It's so it's so nice to just be able to skate around. Wow. And honestly, he can do a lot of damage. He can. Let's test it out on this little packy. I'm you know, we're not trying to we're not trying to prove nothing. Uh, 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 uh. See, 194. To put that in perspective, Sandy hits a lot harder than that. <clears throat> so why would we want to take the chance with our refrigerator fight? You know what I mean? But he could jump, but look, he got, <laughs> it's not a real big jump. I get, Sandy can't jump, I know, but still. Yeah, we're not going to use this guy to fight at all. I know, buddy, it's it's cool, though. So, as a refrigerator, though, this is this is really, really cool, because we can, we can, we can really set up farms now and wow. store all of our stuff without it getting bad. Like all the vegetables and stuff, and maybe even get into some kibble. And I think it's going to be pretty good. Um, but that's going to be it for this one, guys. Next time we come back, I think I think we'll actually set up a little farm outside and maybe do a little bit of base building. I don't know if y'all could tell yet, but I did expand just a little bit. Wow. I took some time over the weekend when I didn't have my nephew, and Squish and I just kind of hammered some stuff out. And... Put some walls up just to give us a little bit more space. And I really need to put together a little bit more sophisticated storage as wow. well. Probably some larger chests and stuff. But I was kind of hoping for a blueprint for that. Um, we did get a blueprint while we were out. But probably some more. We're going to have to start doing some dungeon runs soon as well. But that is going to be it for today, you guys. I hope you all really enjoyed the episode. Squish and I had a good time as well. If you did, let me know in the comments. Which you like the most. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, this is Ulgen signing off, and we'll see you next time. Break it down.